Hi, I'm Joy. Recently, Tesla updated its safety score beta from version 2.0 to 2.1. According to Tesla's website, version 2.1 has a more accurate assessment of your future collision risk based on over 30 billion miles of driving data that Tesla has collected so far. The biggest change in this version is the updated late night driving curfew that is now counted between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. instead of starting the curfew at 10 p.m. in the previous version. When Tesla initially rolled out this risk factor in safety score version 2.0, lots of people complained that this condition was biased toward those who work graveyard shifts. I have also personally been impacted by the 10 p.m. curfew a few times when I was driving home from Disneyland after a fun day at the park. So pushing the curfew back by an hour is a much welcomed change for many people. When Tesla rolled out this new version of safety score, they wiped everyone's safety score clean. So we all started back at 100. If you watched my previous videos on Tesla insurance, you might remember that Tesla insurance in California currently does not use safety score to determine its insurance premium. However, for those in other states that can pay less if their safety score is higher, this is like giving them a second chance if their insurance premium was impacted due to a lower safety score. If you haven't heard, Tesla has reduced its FSD subscription and upfront purchasing fees to a more sensible price point. This will encourage more people to use FSD and help Tesla refine this technology. In case you weren't aware, the safety score factors wouldn't be impacted at all if you use FSD or autopilot. So this is a great way to raise your safety score and lower your insurance payments if you live in a state that uses this feature to determine your premium. Oh, by the way, now that Tesla has lowered its FSD subscription fee, it is much easier for you to activate this technology on a used Tesla. And if you're shopping for a used Tesla, the best way to determine whether you might be getting a used Tesla lemon is by going to recurrentauto.com and check out the battery health of a used EV that you are thinking about purchasing. You can also check out the battery health of your own Tesla or EV by connecting your car to Recurrent's platform. The battery health report is completely free and super useful for you to negotiate for the best used Tesla or EV price, whether you are buying or selling. So go sign up at RecurrentAuto.com today. When Tesla insurance first became available toward the end of 2019, I jumped on it right away and shared detailed info on my insurance policy in a couple of videos. I'm linking that playlist here so you can take a look. Four years later, I am still with Tesla insurance and enjoying a much lower premium than what traditional auto insurance providers can offer me I have yet, fingers crossed, to make a claim with Tesla insurance and I hope it stays that way. In the Tesla insurance videos I did from 2019, I highlighted that Tesla insurance offers an autopilot discount as well as an autonomous vehicle protection package where Tesla insurance will pay for an auto accident if your car was using level two or higher autonomous driving technology. I checked my most recent Tesla insurance renewal and updated policy and sure enough, I am still getting an autopilot discount on my premium and the autonomous vehicle protection package is still there in my policy. So for those new FSD users who wonder if Tesla will give you a discount for using FSD, the answer is a definite yes. Additionally, if your Tesla gets into an accident while on FSD, 
Tesla insurance will pay for damages for bodily injury or property damage involving your autonomous vehicle, according to the policy document. As Tesla collects more driving data from users, it will continue to refine the safety score system. As the safety score system becomes more insightful in predicting driving risks, it will make Tesla insurance premium more fair based on your driving habits. This is a never seen before automotive ecosystem that no other car company has done. This is why Tesla is such a disruptive company, not just in terms of its car manufacturing process or AI technology, but how they use their technology to create new businesses that make total sense for their customers and drive innovation in legacy spaces like auto insurance. I hope this video has helped you to better understand Tesla's safety score system and its impact on Tesla insurance. If Tesla insurance is available in your state, I highly recommend that you get a quote and see if it makes sense for you to switch over. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video and God bless you.